So let's look at some of the energy on the planet right now. I really want to share with you guys something really important. And that is if I could bring your attention to the right side of the screen, all the R's on there and just very quickly sharing some energy that's on the planet. We have an extraordinary amount of planets in retrograde right now. What this really means is that it's creating an intense energy within you. You may be feeling this, an intense energy of feeling a little bit stuck as though things aren't really moving, as though things are kind of coming to a head or coming back into your reality to deal with, or as though you're having extra challenges, especially on an emotional level, maybe even feeling stuck maybe even feeling a little disconnected from connecting with your higher self or some of the journeys that you've been doing, or that it's coming through in a new way. Retrograde is a way in which energy starts to invert us in. And what's really been influencing us for a huge portion of this year, really since December of last year, is this whole this whole energetic of starting to go inward and start to get our own answers like wait a minute there's all of these things that I've thought I was supposed to do in my life and that society told me to do and my parents taught me to do and church taught me to do and now it's really this huge impulse of going inward and saying wait a minute what is it that I want to create in my life wait is this in alignment with my soul path and who I am so right now, just to know that the sun and even Mars is in the gate 48. I'm going to pull up the human design chart really quick here. But to know that the sun and Mars are in conjunct right now in Libra, which is putting a huge pulse into our relationship, our relationship with others and how we're creating balance. So right now you may be feeling a lot of your relationships in your life, even coming to a place where you're having to find out, are you being honored in the relationship that you're with? Are you actually in a place where you are feeling as though you there's an equal energy giving and taking within there. And it's moving us towards this energy and just to know that its opposition is in Chiron in Aries, which is holding an intense energy for us of our own internal wound. That in truth, so many of us came here to actually feel seen and be heard. And part of that desire to be seen and be heard in this life, to be validated and to feel honored for who we are and to have, you know, kind of support to actually be the unique you that you came here to be, means that we have to use that Aries energy, that whole um, powerful energy to, to burst through all of the places where we've had wounds around that and learn to be our own healer to heal that within ourselves so that we're not seeking someone else to validate us ever again. Because in truth, when we create imbalanced or non-healthy relationships in our life, it's because we're seeking something to be fulfilled within us through something or someone else around us. And this is a huge time where we're being pulled out of this pattern that it's it's all of us standing courageously on our own two feet with our own conviction of who we are knowing the truth that we stand behind and this truth is all about not buying into narratives anymore not buying into propagandas or what we've been taught or what we've been told or how we felt that we were supposed to be from all of our childhood you know uh programs and beliefs that we were given growing up. And now it's that time to stand up as a spiritual adult. And as we do this, letting you know that this month specifically, I'm excited to tell you about it. October, we're really hitting into some powerful energy in the next two days. So on the sixth of this month, so just so you can note some of this energy that's kicking in the next two days in this month, Saturn, um, sorry, Pluto, 
Pluto is actually going to be going direct. So I want to just show you all of these R's over here. By the time we hit into January, they're pretty much going to be disappearing off of the side. All of these planets are going to stop being in retrograde. And again, think of retrograde as processes and things you're learning in your own subconscious, your own psyche, and within your own internal emotional or personal field. It's as if it's, it's as if you are internally processing things within your life that you need to go through in order to really ask yourself, is this correct for me? Is this really my truth, what I want to live? So if you look at this, we're really being pulsed at this moment on every level with every archetype, every planet asking us, let's go in, let's really ask ourselves. So Pluto in retrograde was really about going inward for our soul's deepest mission, the deepest wounds, which means we've probably been feeling a lot of the old conversations in our head probably been feeling some of that limited self-talk even pop up or even the frustrations starting to come up again for you. And all of this is giving the opportunity for you to now realize in the next two days, so on October 6th, this is going direct again, which means all that you've been processing and working through now, you get to start externally expressing in your physical reality through this, which means you get to start to put into motion in place the physical actions required to begin to heal any of the past traumas, the past hurts, the past wounds, or the past things within your life that have been holding you back from feeling the courage to be fully and completely open with who you are. And as we do this, just to know that right behind that, Saturn on October 11th is going to be going direct. So this is what's so powerful about October. And then October 18th, Jupiter and Mercury go direct. So in just this month of October, we're having four of those planets go direct. And December and January, the last couple ones are gonna go direct. So just so you know, that even though things have been feeling a little intense or a lot intense, <laughs> that there is an entire energy happening right now that it's calling us to go inside and really clean our emotional closets, clean our karmic closets, clean our, our debt that we have been holding, whether it's our own or debt we've been holding for our family. And as we start to clear it all out. It's really this time to lighten the load, let things go. We don't want to drag all of this into our new future. And I will tell you within the human design field, I'm going to move to the next screen here, but within the human design field, 2027. So we're looking at about, uh, Five years from now, five years is not very far away. And I know a lot of you are sitting here going like five years, this is ridiculous. I'm tired of all of the energy that's happening right now. I want everything to be over. I want to rest. I want it just to click into something new. Well, we're doing an entirely huge uh, reformation and, a, and a, a complete transformation on this planet. So a transformation means we're really taking all of the particles we have on the planet and rebuilding them in a whole new way. And this entire rebuilding that we're doing means that we have to go through those entire processes, that entire internal process and external processes in order to shift and change the things in our reality and in our external reality too. We want to heal ourselves internally so that we can be the transformational change for our external reality. What is the new future that you want to be supporting for others, for your children, for your grandchildren, for our future generations on this planet? So we have this amazing window right now that we're coming towards the the pinnacle of it in 2027 is when humanity, there is an entire huge shift in humanity where we are going to be moving 
from a structured society. We're talking about the systems. We're talking about the way the structures are built, the way the, the, that we interact with each other, the way that the paradigm has been on the planet. And all of that is coming to a head and crumbling Pluto and Capricorn crumbling in order for us to bring in this new humanity, this new era where we will be living a heart-based life. And what that means is that we start to make choices based on compassion, based on natural law, based on honor and respect of others. You make choices based on what is correct for you as far as what brings you joy? What brings you happiness in your life? What are you doing? Because it's your passion and it's what you want to wake up every day and do, not what your most of humanity is doing right now, which means they're up working on a job that doesn't actually bring them joy and happiness. I cannot tell you how many people that each of us know that are living lives that are subpar, that they wish was a little bit more, but it's okay. This is what I'm doing. This is what I need to do to get by. And we are not moving towards a future or a new reality where it's about getting by or just paying the bills or just, I, I'm doing this because I have to. We're going to be the forerunners, the front runners of the ones who are learning how to create our reality based on what is correct for us. And that's what human design is all about. And here's the really cool thing to share with some of the energy in here. So right now our sun is in not only in Libra, but Libra is in the gate 48. The gate 48 is about depth, but to know that Mars is in there too. Because we've been in a, a, a huge energy of retrograde, just to know that when we have this gate of depth, ask yourself in your life right now, are there places where you're feeling a little bit stuck as though you're not moving? And to know, um, I'm not sure if this thing is in the way here, but to know that the bottom of the graph here is the gate 41, which is the gate of, of basically being stuck. It's the gate of fantasy and contracting. And this is where our Saturn is sitting right now until November. What this means is that there's going to be an entire need for you to make sure that you're not getting stuck in the fantasies of your head or how you think life should be or what you want to be happening or even just spinning your wheels in here, that there is going to be a need to make sure that we are taking action steps. And these action steps are going to be really important for us to remember the gate 34 and the gate 20. I went into that the last time we got together. So you can review the last video if you want to go into that a little bit more. But this is really about us having done all the work. We have the energy. We have the know-how. We have the, the, the understanding there's so many of us that know exactly what's happening on the planet right now. And if you've been part of these groups, you know that we talk about things not only on a planetary level, but on a galactic level as far as what's happening, that we know the energies that are happening. And we are here standing for our truth, for the rights of all angelic human beings. We are here to fight and to stand up for, in truth, for the human species, the human race, human beings, right? This isn't about division of anything on the planet anymore. We are standing up as a unified species here on planet Earth in order to take our sovereignty back. And as we remember that, gate 20, again, is our north node that says, hey, 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 remember, you have everything you need right inside of you. you. You have access to all of you. Now is the time to hold that energy. We already have the gate 48 of depth. Our sun is in it. It's giving us access to the deepest aspects of our wisdom right now. And our Mars is allowing us to push that force when it's ready. 
And our job is to be so still in the ego. Here's what I really want to say. The gate 20 is the gate of being here now, being in the now, like a Buddha, sitting, waiting so that the energy of the universe can move through you, of your higher self can move through you. But it's not a lazy stillness. It is an alert and mindful stillness that is giving you the impulse at the right moment to move when the action is required. And it's about you now being in a place of surrendering your ego to your higher self so that the fear doesn't get in the way. The limitations doesn't get in the way. And when the fear is out of the way, guess what? Courage has no boundaries. Courage has a, a complete solid knowing of when and where to move at the right time in order to take those action steps that are needed so that we can implement what we need to implement in order for these changes to come forth. So 2027, again, is really about humanity moving into honoring ourselves as a heart-based society, as a heart-based species, and saying no to any beings who are trying to manipulate and control based on any levels of fear. So it is gonna take a lot of courage from all of us for the next bit of time. I'd like to say that this is gonna be over next week, but I know each of you knows in your heart that this is something that is gonna take a little bit longer to move through. And that the more we know exactly what we're standing for, that as this new era for humanity anchors in, we will be able to just be knowing what we held for all of our future generations to be who they came here to be. So I really want to, again, promote the idea that we are really honoring all of our future generations. It's not just about us. So thank you guys for allowing me to just share that little bit right there.